I think the warmth of the sun is kind of indicative of the warmth of the people, the welcoming hearts, the kind hearts. And you can see why the gospel can move forward here because there are open hearts to talk about our Savior Jesus Christ and the missionary work is, is fruitful in a place like this. We felt the warmth of the people, the warmth of the members, very gentle. This is a wonderful place for the gospel of Jesus Christ to grow. We've also seen how much people here love their children, really want what's best for them. That's very admirable that children are really loved and cared for. We love both meeting in big groups uh, with devotionals, with leadership instruction, and then there's always the sweet experience of ministering visits and get to learn from them, take the love of our Savior to them, and to see the light of hope come back into their eyes. That's such a sweet experience. So many people come up after a message or a devotional or a visit and say that the Lord has spoken to me in the ways that I need and they receive those blessings. And we saw that too in the Caribbean where the Lord is blessing His children. They're ready to receive His Spirit and to hear His voice. When the missionaries bring friends to the church, they're just enveloped in this love. And each one feels that love of the Lord as soon as they step into the chapel doors. One thing that we, we had an opportunity to do is visit different ministries throughout Suriname and the opportunity to talk about how the church can help with, with self-reliance and other programs. And there's an opportunity for service. As we get ourselves out in the community and serve one another, then they come to know the Savior through the good works. Many times that's the first conversation is showing them through the fruits of what we do, um, who we are. And so there's an opportunity to serve throughout the Caribbean with our neighbors, to love one another, to minister, not just those of our faith, but those in the community. And then they'll come to know Christ through those efforts. President Nelson, under the direction of the Lord, just wants to put temples all over this earth. And I think as more stakes are created, I think that these beautiful nations in the Caribbean will have temples in their midst. They can be able to receive that strength that they need in their families, in their homes, and in their lives, and be able to feel they can move forward in the ways that they need to. Come Follow Me is scripture study. Involve the family. Listen to the Spirit as a parent or as a leader, how you can teach and what should be taught in your home. Our children and youth can really help their families in this. Many times you'll see in the youth programs where the leaders want to make the perfect activity. So let's do this, let's make it happen, let's make it just so, and then the youth can come and participate. It's now we have the youth leading, how they're going to have to be able to plan the activity. One thing we can do as leaders or as parents is let them learn from that experience. Give them enough tools to know what they're doing and help guide them. The process is actually probably more important than the result of that meeting. We hope that they know the Savior Jesus Christ in a personal way as part of that. I know that the Lord lives and I know that He loves families. And I know the work of sealing families and bringing families together is His work. And it's powerful. It's linking us back to the eternal family with our Heavenly Father. I know that He lives. I know that He speaks through His prophet, President Nelson, to guide this church. I'm so grateful for my Heavenly Father. I know that He lives. And I know He loves all of His children, and He loves each one individually. I felt His love. And I'm so grateful that He demonstrated His love by sending His beloved Son Jesus Christ, to show us the way home and to provide the way home. I've had experiences with apostles and prophets and know they are chosen and led by God today. And I leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.